This question is taken from the physics model paper 3 of 2024-25. Uh, question number 42. Three capacitors of capacitances 2 microfarad, 3 microfarad and 6 microfarad are connected in series. Determine the effective capacitance of the combination. Find the potential difference across 6 microfarad capacitor if the combination is connected to a 60 volt supply. So here we are given 3 capacitors that are connected in series. Find the effective capacitance of the combination. We know that when the capacitors are connected in series, uh, the effective capacitance is given by 1 by C s equal to 1 by C 1 plus 1 by C 2 plus 1 by C 3 up to 1 by C n. So, using this formula, we can find the effective cap capacitance. This is a very easy question. We know that when the capacitors are connected in series, the effective capacitance is given by C 1 by C s equal to 1 by C 1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. So, substituting the values, we get 1 by 2 microfarad, that is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 plus 1 by 3 microfarad, that is 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 plus 1 by 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6. 1 by Cs. So, 1 by Cs equal to, we can take this 10 to the power of minus 6 out. So, here what remains is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6. So, 1 by C s equal to 1 by 10 to the power of minus 6. On taking LCM, 6 is a common denominator. So, here 3 plus 2 plus 1. So, 1 by C s equal to 1 by 10 to the power of minus 6 into 6 by 6. So, we can cancel this 1 by C s equal to 1 by 10 to the power of minus 6 or C s equal to 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 farad or you can write this as C s equal to 1 micro farad. So, we got the effective capacitance when capacitors are connected in series. Now, there is a sub question here. Find the potential difference across the 6 microfarad capacitor. Find the potential difference across this 6 microfarad capacitor if the combination is connected to a 60 volt supply. When the capacitors are connected in series, the total voltage will get split into V1, V2 and V3 across the capacitors. That is voltage across C1 will be V1, voltage across C2 will be V2, and voltage across C3 will be V3. So, the total voltage V will get split into V1 plus V2 plus V3. And the, But the charge will remain the same. When the capacitors are connected in series, charge remains the same and the voltage will get split. Now, we know that Q is equal to Cv. We know C that is Q equal to Cs into total voltage V that is C s is 1 microfarad that is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into voltage is 60. So, 60 micro coulomb is a charge total charge. So, Q equal to 60 micro coulomb is a charge across each capacitor. We need to find the uh, voltage across a 6 microfarad capacitor. So, using the same formula we can find the voltage that is Q equal to C3 into V3. V3 is the voltage or the potential difference across the 6 microfarad capacitor. So, V3 can be found using V3 equal to Q by C3 or V3 equal to Q is 60 micro coulomb that is 60 into 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by C3 is 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6. So, this can be cancelled. 6 1s are 6 10s are. So, V3 equal to 10 volt. So, the potential difference across the 6 microfarad capacitor is 10 volt. So, the effective capacitance is 1 microfarad and voltage across 6 microfarad capacitor is 10 volt. This is the answer.